Юрий Ивлев по праву находится в числе наиболее заслуженных легковесов отечественных смешанных единоборств. Он начал выступать в 2003 году и за 13 лет своей насыщенной бойцовской карьеры провел больше 30 официально зарегистрированных боев. Это не считая многочисленных неучтенных турниров по Панкратиону и прочим видам смешанных стилей в эпоху становления ММА в нашей стране. В декабре 2009 года вместе с клубом «Легион» он пробился в финал командного чемпионата мира «I'm One Challenge», досрочно победив трех соперников подряд на групповой стадии и в полуфинале турнира. Противостояла российской команде сборная Востока США, в составе которой, как ни странно, было больше бразильцев, чем американцев. В частности, соперником Юрия в самом первом бою командной битвы стал Айван Джордж. Бразильский боец по прозвищу Бэтмен считался на тот момент одним из лучших проспектов своей страны. И до боя с россиянином он провел 11 профессиональных поединков и во всех 11 одержал победу. M1 Global presents. И Великорос представляет обновленную коллекцию шерстяных свитеров, шарфов и шапок, которые не только согреют в холода, но и создадут вам отличное настроение. Великолепные шерстяные свитеры Великорос восхищают узором в традиционном стиле. Широкий размерный ряд подойдет даже для настоящих богатырей. Доступны различные расцветки, варианты с горлом и без него. Представлены модели с хлопковой пряжи с принтом медвежьей лапы и с изображением счастливой медвежьей семьи. А удивительные шарфы Великорос, большие, мягкие и удобные, защитят от холода и от простуд. Красивый рисунок с обитателями сказочного русского леса будет радовать вас. И, конечно, не обойтись без новинки. Удобные шапки 7 русских медведей из инновационной гипоаллергенной пряжи. Такая шапка не вызывает раздражения, не мешает и не колется. С вещами Великорос легко создать атмосферу уюта, тепла и семейного благополучия. Переходите по ссылке в описании и в закрепленном комментарии и получайте скидку по промокоду М1. Иван Джордж из Team USA East versus your Ивлев из Team Russia Legion. Fighters being called to the center of the ring. You know, this first fight is going to say a lot about how this team battle is going to go. Ivan George has a lot of the advantages that the American fighters have. Big, strong, rustler, good jiu-jitsu background. Your Evil have great sambo. Very energetic fighter. The bell in round number one. George in the white and red trunks. Evil in the blue trunks. Your Evil over two years of the M1 Challenge is shown to be the most proficient in the art of throwing. Not takedowns, but throws. That's amazing judo, great hip tosses, great trips. Combination there from George. Now one thing, we haven't seen George throw very many strikes. He looked good on the feet against Steve Magdaleno, but theirs was, their fight was fought mostly on the ground, and that's where Ivan George dominated. So we haven't seen a lot of his stand-up. Chant immediately for your Evlev from our great crowd here at the Ice Palace in St. Petersburg, Russia. Good right hand by, by uh, Evlev over the top. You see Ivan George putting his hand on uh, your Evlev's hip. Does not want to get his hip underneath him and fall for one of those judo throws. Evlev caught that kick partially. George was off balance, quickly regaining his feet. Oh, good right hand. Right hand, then a left by Evlev. I think George is in serious trouble here. Good Here's for left hand. The uppercut left by Evlev. We started with that that right hook over the top, Sean. That really wo wobbled, wobbled George, and then the uppercut followed it up. Body lock now by Ivan George. I think George is just trying to clear his head. And beautiful judo throw. That's world class judo right there. George doing a good job of scrambling back to his feet, but I don't think he's still hurt, Sean. George is covering up the end. Could be near. I he's think it is. He's looking to finish. Michael Bruce and a referee taking a very close look at the left. This is right. about to be stopped, left, Sean. Another left by Eve left. George is covering up, trying to hold on. The referee the needs to stop this, Sean. Eve left. The referee needs to stop this. This George, is way too much damage. George taking a real beating now. Eve left continuing to let go with the hands. Wow, referee not hand. stepping in. George is just getting teed off on here. Wow, Marco Barusa usually all over a fight like this, but lets it keep going. Unbelievable. George survives a tremendous flurry of punches from Yuri Evla. I, I don't think I've ever seen a fighter take that kind of sustained damage in a fight without the referee stepping in. He did not land a single punch back, Sean. Wow. George covered and protected his head. Now a flying knee from Ivan George, pushed away from your Evlev, who's in full control here in round one. Uh, George needs to get this fight on the ground. 
scheduled for three five-minute rounds, as are all five bouts here in the 2009 M1 Challenge Finals. Now, George, a jiu-jitsu black belt. He's very calm on the ground. He knows how to use this position if he can get your Evlev down. And that's no easy task for someone with his uh, judo skills. See Evlev posturing up on both knees, letting go with the punches. George now getting his back. Well, has one, both hooks in now. George, both hooks in, looking for the rear naked well, choke. Well, what a comeback this would be if he's able to finish this on the ground. First time in this fight that Yuri Evlev has been in some trouble. I think he may have punched himself out a bit. Yvonne George trying to snake that arm underneath the chin. Going for the rear naked choke. It's on the chin right now, not yet on the throat. Not on the carotid arteries. Well, Yuri's in trouble, though. But Evlev George all putting a lot of, of pressure on him. George really cranking. Evlev keeping his cool. Trying to break the hole. I th that is tight. I think your Evlev may have punched himself out trying to finish Ivan George in the corner. The one thing is, in the position they're in, he can't get your Evlev on his face. Can't get him, you know, belly down. We can really put a lot of pressure with the hips. Action called for by referee Marco Borussic. Well, that's a tough call. How much action is there supposed to be when you're going for the rear naked choke when you have it sunk pretty deep? It's your Evlev that has to do some action to get out of this position. Evlev trying to turn himself into the ring ropes. Look of calm in the eyes of the Russian Yuri Evlev. He's going to escape this choke, Jimmy. Got out Jordan, of the choke, but Jordan. still in the triangle body lock. You Not see, in a good position. You see the beautiful body triangle held by Ivan George, and he's going right back to a rear naked choke attempt. Closing seconds of round number one. What a tremendous round. Wow, tremendous round, but Ivan George is lucky to make it out of this first round. He was in big trouble. Nine out of ten referees would have stopped this fight already, Sean. The bell, the end of round number one. A tremendous round one in our opening bout of the 2009 M1 Challenge Finals here in St. Petersburg, Russia. When we return, we'll move to the second round of this lightweight bout. Seconds out cold. Round number two upcoming. This is our opening bout of the 2009 M1 Challenge Finals. This in the lightweight division. Ivan George, the Brazilian for USA East. He's in the white and red trunks. Yuri Evlev, the Russian for Team Russia Legion, is in the blue trunks. Into round number two. This round will have to go a long way to match the excitement, the back and forth action, Jimmy, of round number one. Yeah, but you see the change in strategies. Ivan George was not trying to bang with your Evlev this time. He dove right in for the takedown, did not want to trade any strikes. He's learned his lesson. If he's going to win this, it's going to be on the ground, on top. George looking for the single leg, now looking for the double leg. Good job slipping out, trying to take the back. And Evlev again gives his back. From the bottom by Yvonne George. Yvonne George doing the right thing, staying tight, trying to open uh, your Evlev up with strikes. But another problem is they keep getting caught in the ropes. Well, that's a little bit deeper, but I think still across the chin. What a beautiful body triangle being held by Yvonne George on your Evlev. Oh, that's a lot tighter. Still on the chin, though. I don't think he's sinking it all the way underneath. It's tight, it hurts, but it's not yet on the throat. I don't think so. We're going to have to get a better vantage, better look at it, but I don't think it's across the karate, which is where it needs to be. Evlev was playing all offense, now he's playing all defense. In this position, in the closing stages of the opening round, in this position to start round number two. Scheduled for three five-minute rounds. And your Evlev is showing great submission defense, but it's Ivan George in the dominant position, position so far in this round. Tremendous opening bout, Jimmy, to the 2009 M1 Challenge Finals. Wow, after all this exciting, it's going to be a hell of a night. George committed to going to that rear naked choke. Well, Evlev showing tremendous, and I mean tremendous, submission defense. But again, when you're defending in MMA, you're not winning. No, you certainly aren't. Another thing is the back mount isn't like full mount. You don't have a ton of submission options. It's pretty much either, you know, uh, go for the rear naked choke or spin for the armbar and risk giving up position. So, Yvonne George doing the right thing so far in this fight. 
Referee calling for action, but Ivan George is being very busy. He's trying hard for that choke. He's landing strikes, trying to get your Evlev open. Evlev spins out of danger. Oh, that now he's in the arm triangle. It's a tight arm triangle, but your Evlev trying to snake his way out of it. Evlev forces his way out. Spun from the rear naked, out of danger, back into danger with the arm triangle choke, and then just simply powered his way out. Uh, that's nothing we saw uh, against Romano de los Reyes. Your Eva has very effective ground and pound. He's on top. Not only does he have good submissions, but he'll do damage to you, Sean. Eve left back to his feet. George looking cautious in the stand-up. What George is trying to do is load up on that right hand. You don't see him throwing many, very many jabs. Not trying to really set anything up. Nice low kick. Just under the knee of the left leg of George by your Eve left. And George looks very tired. Good leg kick. Evlev missing with the left hand. Then a knee on oh, the right side right. by Evlev. Another knee by Evlev. Then a right hand. George stumbles down. Evlev now trying to get the back of oh, the Brazilian. Good shot. Huge left hand. And there's the stoppage. Victory for your Evlev. Wow, good stoppage. That left hand had George rocked. Russia Legion wins the first bout of the night in the 2009 M1 Challenge Final. Wow, that was an amazing fight. Beautiful performance by Yura Evelyn. Wow, showed great heart, good tenacity, excellent striking, an extremely well-rounded game. It's a very tough undefeated opponent, Sean. You saw it here, Yura Evelyn very aggressive with the strike. And once again, it was that right hand over the top that sent Ivan George to the ground, and once he was there, looked him for a second like he was going to go for the gu guillotine, spun behind and landed the shot that put Ivan George out. Once again, that right hook over the top, right behind uh, the ear on the temple. As soon as he got behind him, that short left hand finished out the fight. Great tenacity and great accuracy with the strikes right on the jaw, Sean. You see that, that sneaky left hand, as soon as he drops, just like that, Marco Bruce has seen enough. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, after four minutes, 11 seconds of round two, we have a winner due to referee stoppage from technical knockout, Yura What a fight to start the night. Back and forth, the winner by way of second round TKO, four minutes, 11 seconds, Yura Evlev defeats Ivan George.